With many using their computers to watch movies, the video rental store is fast disappearing from our neighbourhoods. And now, one of the last. Video brought movies back to this once abandoned Padstow cinema. At the peak of the industry, there were around two and a half thousand video rental shops in Australia. At the moment, that is down to between three and four hundred. And John says that in Sydney, it won't be too long before shops like this are a thing of the past. But another thing of the past was when the Padstow Star Theatre was a movie house. It had a 42 foot wide screen, one of the largest in the suburbs, and it lasted well into the 70s, early 80s as a theatre. The Padstow Star Theatre was built by Tom Vergona and opened in July 1956. One of three sister theatres, the others being in Panania and Riverwood, Padstow Star lasted the longest in screening films. The foyer entrance was there to the right of the picture. It has now become a restaurant, but still in those days it was a great place where you could see all the posters, the magic movie posters for the coming attractions. The auditorium had 768 seats, an interesting number. And wherever you sat, you always had such a great view of that magnificent screen. The acoustics in the theatre were really quite good and it's a pity you didn't see the age of the DTS and Dolby Digital Sound. It would have been really something to hear. But let us go back to those days when they also put out monthly programs and I was lucky enough to keep some of those programs. So without further ado, let's see what was being put on and also with their Nostalgia Sundays. Were many a great screen classic, the screens. Just hit the pause button to read the program. <laughs>
Here are some photos taken at a charity screening where Ben Herb is screened. And it was done for the Reesby YMCA, to which a few of us belong to. And some of us got dressed up. Uh, fortunately, not me. <laughs> so, enjoy. Now some articles, uh, the re-emergence of the revamped Apatito Staff Theatre in 1975. Just hit the pause button to read these articles. But sadly, the theatre only lasted about another 10 years, I guess not too bad, and it had to close. Mainly because video hire on VHS tapes were becoming more and more prevalent. How ironic. <laughs> the entrance to the original candy bar where everyone got their uh, favourite uh, nibblies to have at interval. Yes, they had interval in those days, but now it was turned into the entry to the video store. <laughs> the uh, projection booth and you can just see the uh, portholes there where the uh, magic lens showed their pictures through to the screen. Now these are the original auditorium lights. Very familiar to people because I've used them in a lot of different theatres around the country. Now this is uh, quite interesting because this building, uh, this interior is pretty much well intact. There's the original walls with its art deco type decoration. Something pretty rare these days. There's a proscenium and the floor that these people in the video shop are standing on is actually a false floor. Uh, and it'd be interesting to know what's underneath. Are the seats still there? Well, perhaps somebody knows. And it wouldn't really take all that much to turn it back into a cinema. As you can see, it was really quite a large place. And yeah, we may dream on, but it would be hard pressed to find its way as a cinema today. I guess it's ironic that the new technology is now replacing the DVD movies, which replaced VHS, which replaced the cinema. And now it's being replaced again via the internet and downloading a much more high technical quality DVDs, Blu-rays and what have you with home cinemas.
So what's in store for the old theatre now? Well, any time can tell, and we'll keep an eye on it for at least at least to the last of the long time and then spent 25 years as a video store. And also, I was glad to put this little film together and I hope you enjoyed it. So let the lights dim, open the curtains and on with the show.